In this short video, I'm going to share with you how and why to use mm hmm to liven up and jazz up your video presentations, video meetings, and teaching. Mm hmm can basically be used for any kind of video meeting, any kind of live session, and it just adds some visual color, some visual flair to any meetings that you have or any presentations that you're giving or any Zoom or Google Meet session. You can use it for screen sharing, basically sharing slides without actually screen sharing on Zoom or Google Meet. So basically whatever I'm sharing here in this mm -hmm window is going to show up on my Zoom or Google Meet session. And I can share slides so I can just present whatever I'm wanting to present in this case. This is a uh, keynote presentation. Or I can also share websites. So if I scroll over here, I can see that I've got my browser set up and I can show things that are in my browser. So that's a nice thing that I can add to, to show anything on the web or talk about anything as we go. And I can do it, by the way, in full screen mode or in partial screen mode, or I can turn the images off entirely. So I'm going to leave it in this mode. And in addition to sharing websites um, and, and uh, slides, I can also share images. So here's a photograph that I have, and I can show that or a series of pictures or images that I want to share. And again, those can be in, in uh, full screen mode, or they can be in um, default mode, which is taking up just the corner of the screen, or whatever mode I want. So now I'm going to um, show you how I can adjust how I appear on screen. Right now I'm, I'm in a kind of circle mode, round mode, like that. Um, I can also be in a rectangular mode. So let's look at what that looks like. So I go to the presenter tab here, and I can actually pull this off and adjust it. So I can go to a silhouette mode, where you can kind of see a silhouette of me with a little bit of rough matting. It's not perfect. Go back to the round mode. I can go to the rectangle mode. So I have some different options for how I present myself, which is kind of cool. And I can also, in addition, have some other kinds of options like changing my size. So I can grab this here and make myself larger. I can make myself into a tiny little circle over here as well. So I can control the size and um, also even the placement as well. And that's kind of fun. And there's a few different ways to do that with this slider here or manually with this particular handle. So in addition to changing the size, which can be useful when you're trying to focus on the presentation or focus on what you have to say, you can also change the color of you. Um, so now I'm using this kind of like blue filter, a green one, a red one, etc. And I don't think those are really professional, but maybe for some artistic kind of presentations, it might be relevant to match your background of some, in some way. Another thing you can do is change your opacity, change the transparency. So if you don't want to block your slide, you can do that. Or if you want to disappear for a while, you can do that to emphasize what you're showing on screen. And then you can reappear. And it's very easy just using the sliders, I find. Um, again, I can switch back to a website or back to my slides. And I can also, in addition to changing opacity, I can move. So um, I can just move myself over to a different part of the screen. I can um, kind of decide where I want to be positioned in the screen vis-a-vis -vis whatever I'm showing. So that's nice to have that quick flexibility. Um, and it's really easy to do. And in addition to moving, I can also change the background, the, the kind of virtual background, which in Mhm's terminology is rooms. Um, you can see there's a lot of different kinds of rooms, and I can pull this off as well, so I can show you how I'm adjusting these. Um, I can go to London, to Arizona, and let me turn the slides off for a second. So I can also use some moving backgrounds. I find them a little bit distracting, so I tend not to use these kind of moving backgrounds. Um, I tend to prefer more of a, a kind of traditional background. I'm going to switch to silhouette here again. And I also tend to like the simpler kinds of um, settings. This is a nice homey one, and this is another kind of nice outdoor one. For slides, I tend to use the brick one. That's the simplest, I find, and looks clean. If you want a static color, you can also choose one of these static colors, or you can even add your own. So these are work-related kind of Zoom background types that work pretty well. So I'm going to go back to my brick one. And you can see it's really easy to move things around and, and change things as you go. And the person in your Zoom meeting with you or, or the people you're presenting to don't see any of the backdrop stuff. They just see what's on the, the camera view. Um, I can change the camera if I have multiple cameras. So if I have a external webcam, for example, I can use that or I can use the internal um, webcam. I can zoom in a little bit um, to, um, if I'm, for example, in the silhouette mode, I think it'll be more evident. 
um, I can zoom in, yeah, a little bit closer or a little further away on the camera. So um, you have some controls and you can also adjust for a green screen if you have one um, in there as well. So uh, you can record yourself, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm actually not using the mm -hmm built-in recorder, but you can do that. And you can even do it with an interactive kind of recording, which is pretty cool because then people can either watch it like a movie, like just watch the video, or they can actually click through it and read it as if it were a slide deck, slide by slide, listening to what you say on each slide. So that's pretty cool. So overall, I really like uh, mm -hmm. It's fun to use. It's easy to use. You can add visuals. You can add movement um, to your slides. You can add uh, change your size. You can change the way you look. You can change the color. You can change your opacity. There's a lot you can do. It's really easy to use, and it's quite fun, I find. It, it kind of makes the process of being in a meeting a little, tiny bit little less boring. So this has been a quick intro to, to uh, how to use mm -hmm and why to use it, and I hope uh, you have fun with it and enjoy.